Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Render Review. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. If you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description below. Or alternatively, you can become a member by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. If you want to have your work featured in render review, the details of how to do so will be included at the end of the video. So let's get stuck in then. This is an image submitted by Sarge and it shows a girl called Ellie running away from some zombies down the stairs in the style of a first person shooter. I like the way that the camera doesn't line up perfectly with the characters. It gives you the sense that the character is actually moving the camera is swinging round as though the zombies are kind of catching you by surprise. And Ellie obviously running down the stairs is uh, difficult to capture, it has to be said, because obviously stairs are not a flat surface and to run down a non-flat surface, it's, it's a difficult thing to capture in terms of poses. So you could be forgiven for thinking that this looks slightly off where she seems to be running along a flat surface rather than downstairs, but overall it can be forgiven just through the action of the shot. In terms of lighting, the scene's pretty well lit. The definite light above the zombies' heads has a good effect of lighting the uh, the characters and creating that shadow. What I would like to see in this image, if I were going to change anything, would be a little bit more contrast just to add a bit more drama to the scene. That is, of course, a personal preference and doesn't necessarily have to be taken as gospel. It's just what I would do if this were my image. I'm a bit curious about the hair on the zombie in the back. I assume that's hair unless it's a brain oozing out. It's interesting to see a zombie wearing what appears to be a ginger wig, which I find um entertaining at at best um i like the third the first the idea of rendering a first person style shot in dust studio as well is quite interesting um perhaps work on the flash coming out of the muzzle of the pistol just to make it look different maybe add a bit of a lens flare effect in photoshop or something like that in post just to make it look like there's an actual flash coming out of the gun it's not bad necessarily but there are things that you could do in post to make that look even more realistic. Overall, though, really nice shot. Genuinely impressed. So, you know, be proud of yourself and keep on getting better, my friend. Second image is Grey Guardian by VW Singer. And this image features a female character leaping. I'm not 100% sure whether she's killed a robot or if it's a pet robot or something like that but so I say there's a robot being disintegrated right in front of her so that's interesting uh, the character looks good I would say there is a plenty of contrast going on there and you can see that the flames coming out of the rocket pack are also creating a highlight on her back which is good so that doesn't look out of place the thing that stands out for me mostly as something that I would change in this image would be the character's hair. I see that she looks like she's moving quite quickly and the hair doesn't seem to be moving as though it were, if that makes any sense. So perhaps I would invest in some deforce hair and then apply a wind node to the front of the character just to make the hair fly backwards and look a little bit more natural. The lighting's nice, I like it, Pl I say plenty of high contrast there. Maybe the background image feels a little bit uh, unusual for the shot, but that is again because I don't have any context for the image. But I do like the image, I think it's really solid bit of rendering there. Nice high quality and the character looks really good. The facial expression looks like she means business. Um, I'm, I'm going to guess that she's just destroyed that robot in front of her again. I don't have context, but it just looks like that's what's happened. And she's in some kind of fight scene where she's maybe got more to kill and she's looking at them in a your next kind of way, which I find really good. Um, it's an interesting pose that she's in. I Again, because it's a fantasy kind of setting and 
rocket packs don't actually exist it's quite difficult to comment on whether or not it looks realistic or not so we have to kind of suspend disbelief in this instance and um, just go with it i think that's the case with a lot of fantasy and a lot of visual novels is you do have to suspend your disbelief and just go go with the go with the image that's in front of you and in this case yeah it's it's definitely interesting it has to be said overall though it's a really high quality render and it's, again something that you should definitely be proud of and keep improving and moving on and again thanks ever so much for submitting the image greatly appreciate it so yep thanks to everybody for your submissions so far it's been an absolutely amazing response and of course thank you today to Sarge and BW Singer for your submissions the guidelines for the images are on this screen now as well as the email to send them to again if you feel like supporting the channel visit the patreon in the description below hit subscribe like let me know what you think in the comments below and i will see you all in the next one but until then guys take really good care of yourselves all right Bye-bye.